The story of tapeworms. This is the story of how tapeworms affected my village. My grandpa had been feeling poorly for a few weeks. He had terrible headaches, blurred vision, and confusion. Then grandpa had seizures. I brought him to the dispensary right away. After checking him and running some tests, the doctor told us his symptoms were caused by tapeworms. He said my grandpa must have eaten or drunk the tiny tapeworm eggs without realizing it and gotten sick. The lava settled in my grandpa's brain causing seizures, bad headaches and confusion. They even settled in his eyes causing blurred vision and he could go blind if not treated. The doctor had medicine to make my grandpa well, but he told us tapeworms were a problem that affected our whole village. Listen carefully. It's a story we need to understand. Tiny tapeworm eggs, too small to see, can pass into the feces of infected people. So small, yet so dangerous. Infected people sometimes pass their feces onto the open ground. Pigs, roaming freely, may eat the infected feces. The tapeworm eggs hatch into young worms and spread in the bodies of pigs. When we kill the pigs for food, the young tapeworms are in the meat. If we don't cook the meat well, the young worms stay alive and we eat them in the undercooked pork. The young worms grow up inside our intestines, sometimes causing nausea and vomiting. The worms produce eggs and the eggs pass into our feces. When we pass the feces on the open ground, the tiny eggs spread into our soil and water. They can stay in our unclean hands and pass to our food or directly into our mouths. The doctor told us that not everyone who swallows the tapeworm eggs gets sick like my grandpa, but they can still spread the disease. To keep our village safe from tapeworms, we need to take action. First, we need to protect our pigs. We have a vet visit each pig to see if they carry young tapeworms. Then he treats the infected pigs. To prevent pigs from eating human feces, we put them in a pen. Second, we need to protect our pig meat. We have a meat inspector check our pork. And then we cook it thoroughly. If we find infected meat, we destroy it by burning it completely. Burning the meat is a big loss of money for us. We have to protect our pigs. Third, we need to protect our environment. We build latrines and use them to keep our village clean of feces. And fourth, we need to protect ourselves. Dirty hands can spread tapeworm eggs to our food or water. We always wash our hands with soap and safe water after going to the toilet and before preparing our food and eating. Only with clean hands we can eat safely. If we develop symptoms such as bad headaches, blurred vision, confusion or seizures, we visit the dispensary right away. Our village became healthy. Now we always use latrines and always wash our hands after. Our pigs are safe in pens and our meat is inspected and thoroughly cooked. We made our village safe from tapeworms. Spread the word. Your village can be safe too.